The Tibetan Mastiff is still considered to be a primitive breed originating in Tibet centuries ago. The breed was developed to guard property and livestock. They still do this as well as being a much-loved family dog and a show dog as well. There is very little history that is documented for the breed prior to the 19th century. Believed to be centuries old, with ancestors who were Mastiff-like dogs that developed into two different types of Tibetan Mastiffs. These types are the Tsangki and the Duki. The Tsangki were guardians for Tibetan monks, while the Tsangki guarded flocks for nomadic shepherds and in villages. The first Tibetan Mastiff was imported in 1847 to England and presented as a gift to William Victoria from India's Viceroy. By 1873, there was an English kennel club, and the breed was labeled a large dog from Tibet and entered into the EKC stud book. The next year, the future King Edward Roman VII brought another two Tibetan Mastiffs to the United Kingdom to show in 1875. The first breed club began in 1931. The world wars interfered and no new dogs were imported to England until 1976. Two dogs were given to the President of the United States in the late 1950s but were not bred, and it wasn't until 1970 that any more were imported. The U.S. Tibetan Mastiff Club was not founded until 1974, and they were first entered in a national specialty show in 1979. In 2007, the AKC recognized the breed as a working dog since 2007. It's hard to find a purebred Tibetan Mastiff in Tibet anymore. Black Russian Terrier During the Cold War, the Soviet Union developed the Black Russian Terrier as a working military dog. During the early 1950s, the Red Star Kennel developed this breed, and in 2004, by the American Kennel Club. The Black Russian Terrier is not really a terrier at all, but a mid-sized working dog used for hunting and guarding or as a pet. The Red Star Kennel is thought to have developed the BRT using a wide variety of breeds, as many as 17, including breeds like the Newfoundland, the Rottweiler, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog, and a Giant Shepherd and an Airedale. So, you can see the wide variety, and several more breeds were added. The Red Star Kennel in Moscow was owned by the state, and they developed the BRT for specific working conditions and not for appearance. They did not really care how it looked, except that it had to be black. In 1957, the state allowed a few puppies to be sold to non-military breeders. These breeders began to breed the black Russian terrier for appearance as well as function. As these breeders worked with the dogs, they spread the breed throughout Russia and into Finland, Poland, Hungary, Germany, Czechoslovakia, and Germany. From there, they spread to Australia, Canada, and the United States. The breed standard was developed in 1958 and by 1996, an updated version of the standard was developed to reflect the dog we see today. In 1996, the United Kingdom also got their first introduction to the breed. They are still rare outside of Russian or previous Soviet Union states. 